All right, boys and girls, we're back. We are back. We are back. Who would have thought? Because I didn't think so. I didn't think I was going to see you guys almost 2021. But it is August the 1st, and we are back. To God be the glory. And uh, it's been about three months since I've seen you guys, and a lot has happened, and a lot has changed. Um, the first one you can already see, I have no hair. I cut it all off. And um, it's for a couple of reasons. Um, the main reason was um, I'm like thinning. My hair is thinning on this side. And um, I'm tired of playing with it. Um, I've tried supplements. I've tried working out more. I've tried you name it. Everything um, besides surgery. <laughs> I've tried it. And uh, it seems like it's getting worse. So I said bump it. Cut it off. So I cut it off um, not too long ago, maybe like a week or so ago, and um, I actually like it. So I'll probably be keeping this for a while. Um, my hair actually grew back some. I shaved it all off. I was complete skin bald, <laughs> and it's already grown back. And I did this like Wednesday and Saturday. So my hair grows really fast. It just doesn't grow in this spot. Um, so yeah, I decided to cut it off, man. So we trying that new look. But um, other than that, like I said, it's been three months. Um, as you can see, I am not in the previous house. Um, that last episode that you saw was my last night um, in the house. I had sold it, and I moved in with my parents. And um, I didn't know what to expect uh, living with my parents, but it has actually been very good. Um, I could not be any more happier than um, now uh, with the decision that I made as far as for uh, selling the house and moving in with my parents because it has been a joy. Um, just talking with them more, um, spending more time with them, um, letting my son spend more time with them and just enjoying being around them. And mom's been cooking. She's been cooking a lot <laughs> and my dad too so I ain't got no problems. I ain't got no issues. I am happy. <laughs> so like I said, we've been living here for the past three months, man, and me and my wife have been looking for a house, and we finally found one, um, one that we both liked, and uh, we will be moving in there within the next three to four weeks. So um, I'm very happy because um, I finally will have some room <laughs> for all this equipment. <laughs> so um, I'm very happy about that, man. But uh, yeah, as far as for DJing, I haven't been thinking about DJing at all for a lot of reasons. Um, the first reason is, you know, COVID. Um, not only did it shut down all my gigs that I had lined up, but um, it has also um, hit my family pretty hard as far as my extended family. Uh, we had some members pass away due to COVID. I have family members that have COVID. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to send my son back to school or do homeschooling. Um, so that's a very big decision. And um, just everyday life, man. You got the, uh, the black killings, the protesting. You got the Karens. You got all kind of stuff that's going on. And I'm seeing it firsthand. It's not just what I see on TV or anything in the media. I'm like seeing it with my own eyes and hearing it from like people that I know and care about. So it's like, I gotta deal with all that. And on top of that, I have to deal with some people that want me to DJ in the middle of this pandemic, talking about they want me to DJ at their house and have a house party. And I'm like, bruh, no. <laughs> this ain't nothing to play with, man. This is nothing to play with. Like, um, that's not going to happen with me. So, uh, shout out to all the DJs that's doing it. Um, like, I know you got to get it, however, because you don't know when it's going to stop again. But at the same time, man, I can't. I can't. I mean, I live with my parents. They over 65. I got, you know, my family. We all close-knit. So, it's like, I can't bring that stuff home if I catch something. So, I've been working out like crazy. I've been taking my supplements like crazy. And... Um, making sure my immune system is up. I, I hope y'all doing it. Um, but yeah, I'm doing that. And I'm just making sure I take care of myself. 
because um, you never know what you come in contact with. But other than that, like I said, it's August 1st, and this is my very first gig in three months. And it will be with my friends, Adam and Monique Madrid. They are doing their annual LOL Jacks Film Festival tonight. And I am going to be the DJ for the after party. So I am very excited about that because I went last year just attending and I had a very good time. So now I get to be a part of it. So I'm very excited for that. And um, it's going to be a very good night. Um, they're going to have uh, comedian Jen Weeks. She's a very good friend of mine as well. So she will be in the building bringing that funny. So uh, we're going to have a very good time tonight. We're going to have a very good time tonight. Um, I say I had a couple of issues with my computer. I've been working with that and making sure that goes away. I'm about to practice a little bit for about an hour, making sure it doesn't freeze up or anything. But I'm very confident that it's working. And um, we do have another issue, and that is the weather. Um, we're having the after party on the roof of the Mosh building. And um, it's going to be tonight. But um, as you know, it's August the 1st. We have a storm that's supposed to hit on Sunday. Um, so it's not supposed to hit tonight. But you know, if a storm is coming, you may have some outer bands or something like that that may come through. And hey, we praying that that does not happen. I'm only going to be out there for maybe two hours. So I pray and I hope that, you know, we get it in, get it out, and we don't have no issues. So y'all pray all the way <laughs> as you watch this video. But uh, we shouldn't have any issues with that. This should be a very good night. I can't wait to see it. Um, like I said, it's the LOL Jacks Film Festival. They're going to be showcasing all the up-and-coming filmmakers around um, Florida and beyond. Um, they all come together and... Uh, we see all their films and we pick the best one. Um, first, second, and third place prizes. So I uh, hope you guys are ready because, um, like I say, I'm going to practice a little bit and pack up all this stuff. And the next time you see me, I will be loading up that van once again. <laughs> and we're going to get back at it, man. So I hope you all are ready, man. Buckle up your seatbelts. Let's go. Are rocking and rolling we got everything in the van everything is looking good um, the only issue that I saw so far is uh, while I was getting ready I did hear it rain and it was raining pretty hard um, the good news was it only did it for about 20 minutes and uh, while it was raining my homeboy texted me and he said hey you know we got everything going um, it's nice and dry over here so we still gonna have it on the rooftop and I'm like yo I understand that but it's raining over here and he's like but it ain't raining over here I'm like but I'm outside and I'm getting wet <laughs> but he's like hey man you know don't worry about it you know if anything happens we're gonna take care of you we got you it's not gonna rain over here and I'm like dude I'm like how you gonna put a warranty on that <laughs> you can't put a warranty on that so we we was going kind of back and forth on the through text man but um, like I told him, man, I trust him 100%, man. So we're going we gonna to be good. We're going to be good. I ain't going to stress out about that. But, uh, yeah, but that's my only concern, man. Other than that, man, we are good to go. We got everything in place and everything is in order. So uh, I'm going to focus on this road. And uh, we're going to make it to this museum, man, safe and sound. Because y'all know how y'all drive in Javier, man. So let me focus on this road, man. But I'm going to talk to y'all later on. He's at.
boys back, man. We got everything set up, man. Everything looking good. As you can see, check out my mask, man. This mug is sweet. It go by the sound, man. That mug looks sweet, man. But we got everything set up, man. Everything looking good. So uh, I'm just waiting on everything to get started. And uh, we're going to get this thing rocking. So let's go. Chill. boys and girls that is a wrap man I, I don't know why I'm trying to talk through this all right boys and girls that is a wrap um, this event turned out very well um, very very well um, shout out to my boy Adam man his warranty held up <laughs> um, it did not rain whatsoever um, not a drop in sight and uh, it was a nice little breeze going so it wasn't too hot and um, I didn't get musky so um, turned out to be a very good night man so uh, shout out to him for um, you know being confident in that and uh, keeping me confident in the whole night so that helped out a lot um, the event itself went very well um, I think I did a good job for the first time back in three months. Um, it was a nice warm-up gig um, for the future. Um, I got a lot of compliments for this mask. Um, if, you, if you didn't see it in the video or couldn't see it in the video, it lights up when the music is playing. So everybody was like freaking out with that. So um, they was taking pictures and all kind of stuff, asking me where I got it. I got it off of Amazon. 
just type in DJ Mask and it'll pop up. So I'm not trying to hold this on myself. Anybody can buy it. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's something nice. Uh, it put a smile on people's faces. So it did its job. Um, I think I did very well with the music. Um, I think uh, just the whole event was very nice. Um, everybody just had a good time just getting out the house. You could tell. Everybody was just happy to be out and be amongst other people. So I was one of those people. Um, so I really enjoyed it. And um, like I say, big shout out to my homeboy and my homegirl, my friends indeed. Adam and Monique Madrid, they helped me and they looked out for me throughout the whole event. They made sure I was straight the whole event. And it made me feel like I was somebody. You see, first, they had a pogrom and they got my picture and my information in the pogrom. I don't, I don't usually get that. And on top of that, I got a, I got an award. I got an award for DJing. You see this? This is my very first first award for DJing. So, you know, I didn't know how to act. You know, like I said, you know, they made me feel like I'm somebody. You know, so I, I first time got my award for DJing. So hey. Thank you guys so much, and uh, we're going to keep this thing rolling, man. Believe it or not, we got some gigs coming up in the future, and it's going to be coming real soon. So, uh, hope you guys are ready, man. We are back. Like I said, we are back and in full effect. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the DJ Chronicles, and I'm going to talk to y'all next time, alright? Peace.